Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a while back I made a video about what I thought was the last single core processor, the Sempron 150. As it turns out the last of the desktop single cores came in the form of Sandy Bridge Celerons on the 1155 socket which arrived in the second quarter of 2013 with the fastest being the Celeron G470. Slightly slower CPUs by the name of the G465 and G460 were also available Available, but the G470 was the fastest with a clock speed of 2 GHz. It's also the quickest single core desktop processor you can buy, outperforming the Sempron by an estimated 20%, as well as AMD's FX57, which, at the time of its release, was the snappiest single core option available and still comes close to the modern Celerons today. Thanks to slightly more modern architecture, the Celeron takes the speed crown, but that doesn't mean it's actually fast. Thing is, you can find the G470, 465 and 460 at ridiculously low prices, so what can you expect from performance and why might you want to buy such a processor today? Well, let's take a look at the 470 specs. It has one core and two threads, a 2GHz clock speed and a 35 watt TDP, meaning it has very low power consumption. Rather than make assumptions, let's look at some reviews to see why one of these might be handy to own. As for the G470, one guy bought one for everyday basic tasks and quite admired the concept of using a single core in a modern era, and this shopper found this CPU an ideal home in a basic HTPC and gaming rig paired with a 750 Ti. It seems for a low cost home theatre, very basic gaming system or even Hackintosh build, a modern Celeron will do quite nicely especially considering it had a launch price of just $35 and integrated HD graphics, extra handy if you're on a super restricted budget. The G465 and G460 also have similar reviews and are praised for their simplicity and excellence in basic systems, so let's gauge an idea of performance for ourselves. For modern yet basic gaming you can get away with playing a few titles, for example Cuphead here as difficult as it is, is easy to run on even single core systems. Here the G470 allows us to attain a solid 60 frames per second with frame drops being few and far between. The same applies to titles like Bioshock Remastered, which although showed some signs of stuttering, still ran pretty well with the G470 8GB of RAM and a GTX 1050 which is an excellent budget graphics card. Because this processor is socket 1155, there's still an upgrade path to a faster i3, i5 or i7 as well, all of which can be found quite cheaply these days and still work well with games despite their age. You'd also be correct to assume the Celeron is at 100% usage almost all of the time. Minecraft also ran but the stutter was more noticeable here and even though the game reported frame rates of over 100 at no point did it actually feel like that and we saw drops into the low 20s on some occasions even with the minimum settings and 8 render chunks distance. You can definitely tell the difference between using this modern single core over a slightly older processor from the Pentium lineup and it goes to show that despite the so low core, the technological advancements and architecture really do make it, let's say, not unpleasant to use something like this in 2017. As for CPU based benchmarks, the G470 achieved a single core score of 1527 in Geekbench 4, meaning it performs similar to a high end Core 2 Duo or Athlon Dual Core. Though there's something definitely special about not just this CPU, but the other Sandy Bridge single core Celerons as well. Perhaps it's because they're the last of a kind, or maybe it's because they're actually an okay way to get into the world of PC building for cheap. But whatever it is, checking out hardware that is either the first or last of something is always interesting, and I hope you guys thought so too. Thank you for watching, and please leave a like if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you didn't, as well as hitting that subscribe button if you want to. Thank you, and I'll see you all in the next one.